What is up, YouTube? That's here today. I'm back playing more Pokemon VDC 2023 Regulation D Battles. Today, we're back using some Sandstorm, some good old-fashioned Sandstorm. Like, it doesn't get much more basic than this. You got your Tyranitar Sand Setter. You have your Sash Lycanroc Sweeper. You have a Sand Veil Scarf Chomp. Like, it's pretty easy to play. You got um, a standard Talonflame. We're using Faint and Tailwind on this guy, which is our aggressive Talonflame. Um, we have a little bit of redirection from an Amoongus just in case you might need something because this team has so many weaknesses to, like water, ground fighting, and what have you, and fairy. A little bit of redirection is kind of important. And last but not least, like a secondary tail and setter in an, a Roaring Moon as well as like a booster energy mon to give us just a little bit more speed control as well as like a potential check to Rillaboom because we are using a Flying Terra. This is about as basic as you can possibly get when making a Sandstorm team. And recently in Regulation D, we've been seeing a lot of water teams. Rain teams do well. Thanks to like Pelipper, Basque Legions, Tornadus is everywhere. Like Prankster, Tailwind, plus Rain Dance into like 100% Axie, Genie Moves. Like I know that stuff's everywhere. And there's still also a lot of like Sun teams that are doing really well. Like Sun teams uh, is, are great in Trick Room. They're great just in general. They work huge in Regulation C. So the question today is, is Sand still strong? Specifically in Regulation D. I would say this obviously is a Regulation, or sorry, like a Series 2 team because there's a Roaring Moon. But if you were to cut the Roaring Moon for like a random like hands like iron not even oh, i guess that's another regulation two month but like a gold ango this would look exactly like how sand looked like in series one and and can that hold up in regulation d let me know your thoughts on sand and what like we might be able to do as a community to give sand better tools or maybe like we should try teching in like rillaboom or go back to like what worked before with gold ango and stuff like that to be able to potentially help sand in regulation d i, I personally will say i think sand's still super cracked all you gotta do is click rock slide it's the best move in the game for a reason. And uh, I think that more people should not be ashamed to click Rock Slide because it's really good. So hopefully I get an unlimited amount of flinches because like that's what I kind of want to do with this team. I wanted Rock Slide, so I put it on most of my mons and I uh, hope I get some big flinches. So uh, wish me luck. Here we go. All right, Grim Rilla Lando, really, really solid core. They have the Gudra, they have an Urshi. I'm thinking that's an Urshi water. Intimidate's very good against our team. It is. They have a bunch of fake outs too. They have a bunch of good stuff versus us. I'm gonna lead my T-Tar. And I'm gonna lead with my Garchomp. I don't know if like bringing Amoongus here is a step in the wrong direction. It, it really might be. It really might be a step backwards. I don't think we need Roaring Moon for anything. I don't think we need like Town Plane for anything. We're obviously bringing Lycanroc. None of these guys get Rock Slide. I just want to flinch things. To flinch things, though, we need Speed Control. We're already faster than all their mons. Let's think about this, though. Let's think about what the right mon is for this situation. Is there ever... Or it's it's Amoongus. If, in case that's Urshi Water, it's Amoongus. You just swap that thing in. Rocky Helmet, they lose. So, Amoongus is a little passive here, though. I'm not going to lie. It's a little passive. But I think we can be okay. I think there's... There's something that a lot of content creators and a lot of like people that make videos don't really lean into. And that's the fact that like, bro, I can just click two rock slides and just flinch you every turn. It's totally possible. All right, so it's a great double intimidate. Um, we're gonna pivot out Tyranitar. We're gonna pivot out Tyranitar for Amoongus. And do I want to do that, though? Let's think about this. This is neutering. I wonder if they're going to go for the special Lando. I wonder if that's a special, like, a mixed Lando. I'm going to Thunder Wave there, really, actually. I'm going to pivot out my Garchomp for Amoongus. Yeah. They might have that move that, like, uh, has a percent chance to burn the Sandseer Storm from that Lando, which I've seen those before. Thunder Wave is so niche on Rilla, but it puts Rilla lower speed than T-Tar for us to then later go for those big Rock Slides. It's all about Rock Slide with this team. It's all about them Rocks. I should use Stealth Rocks on this team. Hazards are good in VGC. It just takes a lot of effort to make it work. So cool. They fall for that bait. And they take a Rocky Helmet tick. So that's, that's damage right there. You turn into T-Tar. What if I was policy, bro? You don't respect the classics? What if I What if I just, like, clicked Blizzard, bro? <laughs> hey, cool. We should be able to hit this uh, this big U-turn. Or big Thunder Wave. Sorry. Kudra. Now, I wonder if that's going to be Shell Armor. Or... Sap Sipper. It should be Shell Armor. It should be Shell Armor. 
Everything in the fiber of my beings is screaming, Shell Armor Gudra! So it's probably Shell Armor. Um, for no crits. That being said, I'm going to test these waters. And I'm going to click the button against it. I will definitely be clicking the button. Spore is the button that we're clicking. Um, and I'm going to flinch that Rilla. It's going to U-turn me. Uh, actually, it's gonna, since it's going to U-turn me, I'll just go into Garchomp. And go for the Spore. Yeah, Garchomp's good here. EQ's mitigated, but like... I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll do you want to see me click it again, bro? <laughs> Alright, Sandvale Garchomp. Body press! I'm not impressed. Crit too. Unlucky. No respect for my Sandvale, bro. What if those both missed? Alright, let's see if we get a nap time here. Landro's fine. Um, if this is... I might be able to get away with clicking Rock Slide here. Cool, this is the Shell Armor set. I don't know how the hell we're gonna break that thing. I mean, we have a Ghost Terra on our Lycanroc, so maybe we can get him in a situation where I don't know if they... Like, if there are sets like Acid Armor, Shelter, Body Press, Protect... I don't know if they have any move that can even hit the Lycanroc, right? There's nothing really wrong with any of these moves, but, like, do we even need to be on the board right now? They're just gonna click... Not gonna click Earthquake. They have to have that AoE sand move, which already has low accuracy. Let's just rock slide then. Fuck it. Did I do anything else today? I mean, there's no reason to rock slide, though, as opposed to just Iron Head, you know? And if that's the case, the right play would be... Actually, I know what I want to do. I would like to rock slide, because I'm scarfed. I have to lock into something. And we're going to support here. Are you U-turning me? You could miss a U-turn if you want. Oh, Terastalize, huh? Flying? Prepare to get flinched, bro. Prepare to get flinched. Yeah, Flying Terra on that big Terra Blast Land. They want my Moongus off the board. They're done playing games. But now they're taking neutral damage to Rock Slide, which will get the flinch. Just gotta lean into it a little bit. Just gotta lean in. Told you, what'd I say? What'd I say? Just gotta lean in. Just embrace the flinch. Just know that you're gonna get it. That's the, that's the best way to play. What are they gonna do about it? You're gonna wake up eventually. And so what you do here is, there's two things we can do here. Since we already, the Gudra had to be asleep that turn, so it can technically pick up this turn. Remember, we uh, sported it after it moved, so it had to be asleep that turn. So, you, realistically, the right play would be to like continue to rock slide and then you go for spores into that Gudra slot, because either you're going to A, catch the Rilla, or catch Gudra waking up. I am going to this turn, though, go for a rock slide, and I'm going to Pollen Puff my Garchomp this turn. I don't know if Pollen Puff actually checks in sand. They're just staying in, bro. That's free damage. Look at this. Any wake up on the Gudra? I mean, Lando has to be asleep. Cool. Gudra's asleep. So cool. Next turn, we just go for a spore into the Gudra slot again because Gudra's probably going to wake up. And I, again, let me know in the comments uh, if accuracy checks work on side pollen puffs. I don't actually know. Like, what if I had low accuracy? Or, like, my Garchomp obviously has Sand Veil right now in the sand. Speaking about sand, it's about time for Titar to come back in. I could realistically even, like, hard swap out Garchomp for Titar and then side Pollen Puff that slot again, too, if I wanted. But what I'm going to do is just continue to Rock Slide because I'm the GOAT and your Gudra's going back to sleep. Cool, Gudra's probably going to go back to sleep. Any more Wake Up Flinches on the Lando? That has a multiple... So next turn we just pivot over and... I, I don't think Pollen Puff would have killed Lando here, by the way. There's the Wake Up on Gudra. Life do. It's fine with me. So life do acid armor or shelter. We don't know which one. I'm assuming body press and protect. I don't. I don't think they have any other moves. Which means if we save our ghost Terra on our um, on our Lycanroc, we probably just win the game versus that creature. We can actually just ignore it uh, and then eventually like send out Lycanroc to howl a million times and just win. So that being said, uh, we are just going to rock slide. And that's enough to get it off the board. Actually, the right play is this, in case that doesn't KO, because Atlanta wakes up. Bro, I'm so good. Because Atlanta's like, I will wake up and finally defeat the final Amoongus. I mean, we're just going to flinch it anyways. Show me to wake up. Show it to me. Okay, show me the hidden Amoongus. Oh, show me another flinch. What did I tell you? Just lean into it. Just lean into it. Lean, embrace the degeneracy. 
just go, mmm, degeneracy, I love to see it. And what we're going to do here is we are actually just going to go rock slide, and we're going to hard switch in T-Tar to reactivate our Sandstorm. And then we're going to swap back out. Probably for Amoongus, because, like, Amoongus doesn't really do anything on this board. Gudra, we could keep that Gudra slot locked up, but we actually want them to start, like, sheltering and doing all the other stuff. I don't think they can hit the Lycan Rock. And we have Ghost Terror on Lycan Rock, so we should be fine. And we KO Lando. That's their Terra down. So don't have to worry about any other weird terrors from them either. And uh, what are they going to do? What you going to do? And they should have saved that Lando. They could have cycled Intimidates all day, and they just didn't. There's the wake up, one turn sleep there. Flinch! Dude, you just got to lean into it. Just got to lean into it. Just, just lean. Rock Slide's busted. Best move in the game. Literally skips your opponent's turn, obviously. I feel like people think that you shouldn't just rock slide because they're like, oh, there has to be a bigger brain play. It's like, no, eat that glue, bro. It's all, I'm just gonna rock slide this guy. Water Urshi, actually. I'm gonna swap in the Amoongus. <laughs> but like, bro, like, I'm gonna flinch it. Yeah, because like the, the redirection of that. Oh, the pivot, cool. Bro, oh, you go to sleep. You're paralyzed. Like, this is, this is, I'm, I think I win. I just gotta play, a, like, as patiently as I can. I could have, I think I could have, I could have Trasalized either or not died there too, but we need to save it for like a rock. Let's go. Free damage. Shelter. Cool. Like, go nuts with that. That's absolutely fine. So life do shelter body press. If they have like a, a muddy water or like a heavy slam or something, like that's obviously still a problem. I just don't think that they do. I think they have protect. That's just my thoughts. Eventually I'm gonna have to swap out. I'm running out of rock slides. Gotta PP max these. Yeah, this is fine. I'm just gonna flinch. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go fake out my guard trump, gonna miss, and I'm gonna flinch. Oh, paralyzed? That also is that RNG baby. Rocks, let me get that flinch. Let me get that flinch. I will paw and puff down. Oh, you are in bed down. You are now in bed. Now, this is getting dicey. It's get it's getting there. I don't have a clear smog. I don't have anything. I mean, he's a steel type anyways. But I, I think I think we're going to be okay. You never know, man. You just got to flinch it. I mean, eventually I'll win if I just keep flinching it. And I'm going to paw and puff the absolute poop out of that Urshifu after I flinch it. Bro. Bruh. He could swap out. Sorry, is that, is that Urshifu? I said, I meant Rilla, but like it could swap. Okay. I haven't missed a rock slide yet either. I'm feeling it right now. And he flinchers. Gudra's in nap time. Had to be asleep that turn. And flinch again. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Bruh, next turn you're done. Next turn, your Rilla is gone. It is gone next turn. So you want to see the play that we do to end the Rilla? Because we know how important Rilla is to your strategy, right? You have to. You kind of have to have that alive. So we just go rocks. I'm about to run out of these, bro. I have to move, move to Ironhead. We're in a spore because I know you're bringing Urshi right in there. You don't want to lose, right? You don't want to lose the game. Like I just got to wait one more turn. Oh, good play. Good play. Staying in's right. I wonder what they're... Are they clicking U-turn? Are they clicking wood hammer? U-turn. Oh, it worked then! <laughs> Good thing I didn't flinch it, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah, why would I uh, switch when I could just switch? And I'm like, I told you not to switch, though. Bro, I tried helping you out. All right, all right. I only got one rock sled left. Do I want to use struggle? Do I want to struggle? This is the struggle that real? My Garchomp's like been intimidated this whole time. I used all my rock slides. There's no reason to stay in here. I'm gonna swap in my T-Tar. Right? Yeah. And like, what do we do here? T-Tar's not full, right? I can just side palm up my T-Tar. 
yeah, it's probably for the best. All right, so we swap out Garchomp for Titar and Psybal of it. Cool. So Urshu has to be asleep. They, I guess they can wake up with the Gudra, but like, I, th I think we're I think we're fine. Because I can just re-put it back to sleep. There's nothing to do about it. You should still be using Sap Zipper on Gudra, in my opinion. Body press Titar takes the L. It happens. It does happen. That means we have to send Lycanroc out now, which I'm not that big of a fan of, because that Urshifu still can end our life, and we can't protect in front of it. So, like, ah, this could go so bad. This could go so bad. We're going to have to go Ghost Terra on the Lycanroc and click... Hmm... We can go Ghost Terra right now, but I don't think that gets us what we need versus Urshi yet. Because, like, we just don't have the damage just yet. We can go Garchomp. Garchomp could die to a body press. I'd rather not lose my Garchomp to this body press, though. Don't think we need to flinch right now. I mean, just... Dragon Call's like a three shovers that Urshi. And we're, I'm assuming Urshi's getting a one turn sleep. I think that's the right play is Lycanroc. And going for just a turn one. Like, we're, we're going to assume Urshifu's still asleep. Because if Urshifu's going to wake up, there's nothing we can do about it right now anyways. And we're going to click Terastalize. I'm going to click Howl, because we actually do need to Howl to get enough damage to KO the Urshi. And we're just going to go for the Spore into the Gudra. If the Urshi wakes up, the Urshi wakes up. The I'm gonna tell you right now, the only reason I think we I might take the L this game is because my Garchomp ran out of rock slides, bro. Like, we just need to PP max that move. Let's see what happens though. There's the howl. There's no reason to just like close combat right now. Alright, we're doing this just to block anything that the Gujar would throw out. Alright, cool. We needed that to happen. Because now, from that, and that was the only turn. Because, like, for the rest of the game, we can just click Rage Powder. It does have the Heavy Slam. Okay, so it does have that move. Um, which means that our Ghost Terra is not really going to be that effective. But, like, they are also just going to be asleep for a really long time now. And, uh, I wonder... Let's see. Another Howl is the right play. Because we need to get big enough to, like, one-shot the Urshi. You know? Watch as like goggles or she and I haven't been paying attention. God, it might be though. That's that would suck. No, it's he got sport. <laughs> he got sport. I saw it. <laughs> okay, so we're at plus two. We can probably one shot the Urshi now, especially if they go. Oh, we get attacked. We saw that Moongus. All right, I think we can KO the Urshi now with plus two how or plus two close combat. Gudra has to be asleep. And once we get the Urshi off the board, we can always go like protect spores and stuff like that. What do you guys think? You guys think we kill the Urshi at plus two? I'm still going to go for it, obviously. Like Rage Powder, um, close combat is the right play. Plus two Lycanroc. Let's go. Let's go, Lycanroc. I actually kind of want them to bring out Rilla sometime so they can start giving my Moongus a little bit of health back so I can mitigate some of this uh, Sandstorm chip and stuff. All right, so they're pivoting out. Cool, that works. We're actually, this is so good because this is just letting us like bypass like the turns of fake out and stuff like that. So that thing's just gone. Gudra can still be asleep this turn. Or sorry, it can, I guess Gudra can technically wake up. That'd be not great. But like, I still think we're going to get everything that we need to close this one out. So you're done. So Heavy Slam, Life Dew, Shelter, Body Press. The great Gudra set. We can't crit them, by the way, either. Just remember, they have shell armor. So, like, I can't, like, play to crit. Um, I can just get, like, multiple howls off. That's, like, my only... And, and flinch them with, like, iron heads from my Garchomp or something, you know? All right, so Gudra being asleep is good. I wonder if the right play here is to just Spore. No, it's still... Actually, the right play here is still Close Combat and Rage Powder. It is. I want to get a respore on that Gudra, but I can do that whenever I feel like it. 
And hopefully the Urshfu goes down to this, or at least goes within like Rockslide range or something. Let's see it. There's the Rage Pod. Let's see if it goes for like a Wake Up Aqua Jet or something. Any damage on that Urshfu would for sure. Yep, there it is. And now it's almost like I play the game. So this puts them within range, I think, for the close combat after that last little bit of chip. And Urshfu should be going down. Yeah. Oh my god, they're still alive. That should be within Rock Slide Chip, though. And the Gujar woke up too. That's not good. That's not good for us. Oh my gosh. So close. Okay. Same system side, thank goodness. Three minutes left. Oh, it's going to be one of these games, huh? Well, we have three Pokemon. Let's think about it. Is there a single issue with going double protect into a Rage Powder Rock Slide? I think that's actually how you... Oh, wait, we can't double protect. It's fucking Urshifu. Okay. You Rock Slide here. Rock Slide and... And Rage Powder. There's no way we lose two mons here. There's no way that we lose two mons here. I'll take this one as long as it has to go. I'll take it. I'll, I'll go to time. I'm not above. I'm not above. I think I have like a series one team, right? Detect. Good play. I'm just going to flinch with Rock Slide though, bro. Just going to flinch you with Rock Slide, bro. Just going to do it. Detect was actually a good play there. They get an extra tick on the uh, terrain. Good play, good play. All right, any flinchers though? Heavy slam, okay. Hey, sorry, Moongus. All right, it's two mons to two on the last like couple turns of this game. If we lose a mon here, if we lose our Garchomp here, I think that's an L. So what we need to do is wait in this menu for as long as possible. <laughs> as a game. We got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, we, we take those all the way to the bank. Yeah, the plan would have been to send out Garchomp and I actually think like, I think you would I think we would have iron headed the Gudra. Right, look at the, my board here. We have, actually, we have one Rock Slide left. We could have clicked Rock Slide. Um, I think their actual play would be to like go for like a Surging Strikes um, to get like a KO on the Lycan Rock. But uh, yeah, the power of letting something get fainted. What is, what's the rest of our team? No, we have we, it's, we don't have a Series One team. We have these four plus Talon Flame and. And Roaring Moon, which, like, I don't see us ever realistically using the Roaring Moon. So I guess it's a Series 2 team, but, like, bro, they got all the good stuffs, man. They got all those good Pokemon, and we're like, nah. Nah, we take those wins. We should be able to take this. The way this is going to get calced at the end is our opponent is going to have... We both have the same number of Pokemon, but my Pokemon are much higher health than theirs. So we should be fine. But the right play, I think, would be something like Close Combat and, like, an Iron Head. And then I just win. Time's running out. Battle is over. And we take those wins. Using a sand team. Just going for rock slide flinches. Leaning into it just a little bit. Bro, is that go go? I don't know what to do about that. Grim's a bit of a weird pick here. Hmm. There's something weird with like skill swap, meta champ, pure power, like go go garbage. Go go gadget garbage. Uh, let's just lead with Amoongus. Now, nah, Amoongus is lame. I don't like Amoongus. We used enough Amoongus last game. I want to click Rock Slide. Let's click Rock Slide. All my homies like Rock Slide. I'm going think about what the last moment is here. 
I mean, Amoongus is the correct option here. And we're probably... We don't need Flying Terra to break... The, actually, I'm going to bring Flying Terra on. <laughs> we, that Gogo -Go might be an issue, bro. Dude, I respect Gogo. -Go. That Pokemon's nuts. That Pokemon's so nuts. I built... Uh, the other day, I was just looking around, like, calcs and stuff like that. And I found, like, a really, really good Gogo -Go spread. I worked on it for about 20 minutes. And it, it lives through so many things. And it does so much damage. And it has, like, recovery options. It's, it's a good Pokemon. Um, that being said... I'm respecting it, but I don't think they're going to bring it. Even though it's a good Mon versus team. Like it's all the all the stuff you'd want versus team. What are they doing here? I'm going to click the buttons. I'm not afraid of you. You can just get your turn skipped. Whatever this is, I say I will skip your turn. Help. Tailwind, that's fine. So we can't skip their turn anymore, but we don't really have to care what they're doing either. Yeah, that thing does get Tailwind. A lot of people don't remember that that thing gets Tailwind, but it does. All right, so in this situation, Tailwind's great, but, but, there is always a but. I have my own speed control. I'm right in the back, Roaring Moon. Cool. I can just trade Tailwind, swap in, trade. No, no, that's not right. This is fine. And do anything else today. What are they? What are they? You can't scald me anymore, bro. Like, you could click. Yeah, you, nice light screen. Yeah, that's gonna work. That grim is hot garbage. Still outspeed you. You can get flinched then. Chilling water, dude. T-Tar don't give a shit, bro. That ain't scald. I ain't afraid of you. He's like, but my tailwind. I hope they swap that Grimmon next turn because I'm Thunder Riven that slot. I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. That thing's dead next turn. Yeah, dude, T-Tar laughs at your attempts to pour cold water on it. Thunder Wave here. I really got to PP Max this Rock Slide. <laughs> dude, I've run out so fast, man. All right, are you going to swap out? Oh, stay in, so Luminion, down for the count. Can we get a flinch on that Grim? Survey says. Survey says. They're trying to spirit break, probably, but, like, any flinchers? That's what we like to see. That's a plus one. And now the Parrot flinch tech. Cool. So they're running out of Tailwind turns now. Nice Tailwind. Very effective. Titar's back up. I'm a full on both my mons. You have, a light you have a light screen and a reflect up, but, like, I don't really care. I'm threatened in absolute zero. I haven't Terra. I don't have to Terra. I haven't shown any of my moms in the back. I'm already up a mom. This is a pretty good game so far. Metacham. Okay. You are going to click skill swap into your slacking, which is... They're going to parting shot one of my moms with the Grim and try and bring in that slacking. So the way that you beat that is you just click Thunder Wave into this slot, and then we just Rock Slide again. Because if you don't do that weird play, if you're Trick Rooming or something, this is still fine. Cool. You could Ice Punch too, but it's almost like I play the game, bro. You could you could totally read this and get my my teacher off the board, but I know you're skill swapping, bro. You think I don't play this game? Thunder Wave into the slot of the mom that was already Thunder Waved. Oh, you fake out of the wrong mom, bro. I'm gonna hit this. So you could still go for that skill swap play. But uh, now your Tailwind's gone. And you know what that means, right? Time for Rock Slide City. Ba -da -da -da. Actually, my T-Tar, I'm going to just kill your Metacham, right? Can I kill that Metacham? I'm at minus one of my T-Tar. Like, Rock Slide Assurance doesn't do it. I'm just going to click two Rock Slides. And just flinch everyone into oblivion, bro. Into You, could, you can go for a fighting attack if you don't think you get flinched. Yo, let's go. Yeah, there's a reflect. I'm gonna have to crit. There's the flinch on Metacham, yo. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. And there's a flinch over there, dude. Rock slide busted. Down. Does he truant? If he, uh. does Is that true? Does that count? As a, a light, light clay uh, Grimstrong. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, that's a crit. Right through that reflect. T 
tearing it up. Citrus. Dude, this guy's defensive. Okay. So probably fake out skill swap. I wouldn't be surprised if they had like Drain Punch. That's just such a good move. Skill swap. Okay, they got it off. Giving it pure power. Pure paralyze. <laughs> pure flinch. Bulk up. Okay, alright. This is going to be one of these games, huh? What do we have in the back? We have, we have Roaring Moon? Dude, I'm not threatened by you. You have to swap in Grim. Not threatened. I your Metachamp sucks. It's it has true. Oh, no, actually, yeah, it has true. So I I can just ignore you. Bulk up again, dude. This this freaking this drain punch is gonna end my life. But I'm just gonna flinch it. One drain punch and we are out of here. All right. Let's see what this does. Th this is a minus one attack T-Tar. High jump kick. Dude, they had it. We don't KO because T-Tar's built different. Let's go T-Tar. That didn't do shit, bro. But the para. Dude, that did, that did nothing. <laughs> Another Truant. Oh my gosh, dude, we're going to get it. Reflex over soon, right? It's reflex over this turn? Yeah. All right, all we got to do is hit this last rock slide and piece them the heck out. Let's go. T-Tar. Coming in hot. See, that's a power rock slide, man. Sometimes it's all you need. It's the answer. The truth. In, in this format. I like that we went for the Thunder Wave against a Mon that was already Parrot. Like, it was such a good play. They can come and do whatever they want with the Grim. There's no way they get out of here. They got a Truant Metacham. Are they gonna, are they gonna, they're gonna skill swap and take Prankster? So. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, dude, I'm about to run out of Rock Slides again. Rattle is canceled. We take those wins all the way to the bank. Rock Slide busted. You heard it here first. Oh man, it's more meta champs, bro. I don't know where they think they can do these things, but they just can't, Nemo. All right, so it's gonna be Sunny Day Murkrow enabling things like Hisui and Lilligant and Flutter. Huh. I mean, Talonflame is really good. Talonflame Garchomp kind of just wins here, like a lot. Yeah. Quite a bit, actually. This is great. This is a great weed. Um, I'm going to bring... Damn, T-Tar is such a weird bring here if I want to bring it. But I want the sand. But I, I want my Lycanroc to be to do stuff. I want more rock slides. So then I'll just bring it. Easy. Easy as that. I want to rock slide things. So I'll bring all three of the Pokemon that have the move rock slide. And let's think about what they're going to do. Are they going to go Metacham? Would they fake out my Talonflame or my Garchomp? If we think they're going to fake out the Talonflame, I can always go Ghost Terra. If we think they're going to fake out the Garchomp, I can pivot out the Talonflame for T-Tar, set the Sand Veil, or the Sand Stream to enable the Sand Veil to make them miss that fake out, and then hit something with the Garchomp. And we'll see. You're trying to trick me here, right? Right, though? Am I right? It's, uh, maybe not. Like, what is that Serena doing? You just kill that thing. You just kill this thing. I actually think you can just do this. Iron Head, because I think that there's a flutter in the back somewhere. I don't think that you're fake outing my Garchomp. I think that this is a bait and that you want to do something weird with that uh, Metacham. And you obviously go, like, why don't you, why don't you, uh, Brave Bird and Super Fight wins both? That's a, that's a Serena. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fake fall for that one. Fake out, fail, which means you're gonna lose your Metacham. And like, you, there has to be a reason every time you see a Metacham. 
Like I, I ain't losing to that today. You can, you could uh, do something else. <laughs> you can do literally anything else over here. They should know that we're scarfed, by the way, though. Let's see it. Let's see what the play is. Trop kick and a Garchomp. That's absolutely fine. Garchomp will recover, I promise. I'm probably gonna actually pivot out my T-Tar, uh, my Town Pimper T-Tar, I think. Yeah, and I'm gonna, you're gonna miss your move into my Garchomp. It's finally time. Let's see if this is speed or special attack. Speed, okay, so they're just speed demons. Steve McQueen's out here. It's fine. Yep. They outspeed my Garchomp. But it doesn't matter when they when they miss because of Sand Veil and I crit them. Yes. 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 You chose the incorrect target. You ignored a Garchomp? You ignored a Garchomp. Gee, you can only do that like one time. That that hit me through my Sand Veil. Do I do you even have Sand Veil? Bro, I've been using this Garchomp all day. And it's like, hello? Sand Veil. Is it me you're looking for? They should they should know not to high jump kick that T Tar. I'm telling you right now, I just showed lefties on a T Tar pivot. Like, they should know that they can't do those things. I got the Sand Veil right there. You're gonna miss that high jump kick. I am, I'm already planning your funeral. All right, here we go. No, come on, dude, Garchomp. I just want one Sandvale miss, bro. Unlucky. Garchomp tried its best. At least you missed high jump kick. Yep. What I say. What did I say? Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I don't have to do this, but I will. Actually, let's, should we play it correctly or be funny? Because, like, I could read the, nah, 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 let's just, let's just play the game correctly. <laughs> Bring out this guy. <laughs> nah, I'm doing it, fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> you can miss another high jump kick. <laughs> That's what you get for killing my Garchomp, bro. You can, you can do whatever you want. You're gonna miss this high jump kick on something. Somebody. You're gonna lose your Flutter, by the way, too. It's gonna take out a Sand this turn. I hope they don't kill my Town Flame, but like, it doesn't matter. High jump kick. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what we like to see. Trap kick's way better, man. You can sand just throw out that trap kick every turn. Double KO, dude. I didn't even attack. Got double KO. Feels feels pretty nice. I'm glad I did that. That was funny. Yeah. And then we got three mons. I think they have one. Don't know what it is, but like it's Murkrow or something. Lily again, bro. Good mon to have in the back. It'd be a shame. If somebody brought Let's see, what could they terastalize? Steel would be a terastalize that would be a jerk move. So we just close combat. Like steel would block the, or like rock, you know, to block all that. Oh yeah, we just win. Talon Flame! Coming in from downtown. And we take those. Cool. Yeah, we'll take those wins. This team's really, really easy to play. I kind of just wanted to play some games with Sanya. I use the same T-Tar set in so many videos. But it just goes to show that you can play a bunch of cool games. I think that first game that we played against, like, the super meta, like, Urshifu Rilla Gudra team, it shows that you totally can make teams with, I would say, off-meta or dated meta cores and just play with confidence. Click those rock slides. Click those thunder waves. Make your opponent make those plays when they have to 
deal with the insurmountable amount of like RNG through Paris, flinches, speed ties, all those things. That's what's fun for Pokemon for me, and I hope it is for you guys as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out this team, its rental code's going to be up on Patreon, as well as all the other rental codes that I make for all my videos. Usually they take about a day to get up there, but uh, I upload a, a post to Patreon every day. There's a, there's a bunch of cool stuff on there. Check it out, and uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.